Yay! You know, I received a mixed reception from my last commentary on the channel Navigator. The main reason why was due to the fact that the channel has been irrelevant since 2008. Despite that I stated that in the same video. But at the same time, I figured that I would make it up by commentating on a video that is relevant. And what great timing too. You see, there's this user under the name Sammy Classic Sonic Fan, or as I would like to call him, Freakin' Sam. Now, Freakin' Sam uploads videos that contain video game reviews, stop motion shorts, and rants. Supposedly, he heard the legit criticisms of Nintendo's latest home console, the Wii U. And boy, does he not like it one bit. At all. Which is the video that I'm going to be tackling today. Let's begin shout- Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot to mention. Uh, for headphone users, you might want to lower your volume. Believe me, your ears will thank you. Now, let's begin, shall we? Okay, I'm gonna freaking tell you guys freaking something- Oh great, another friendly reminder why I don't have voice chat turned on from online multiplayer. You know, just something I want to get out of my freaking chest, okay? And as you can see, I've got freaking Super Mario, freaking Sunshine, and I got all the shines in the game in about two weeks, and what do I get? A stupid ending! God, where's my grape juice start starting? And then I got all freaking Mario characters here. Wonder why you freaking freaks? Because you people cannot stop criticizing the Wii U. Stop criticizing the Wii U. Okay, from this point on, I'm gonna try to be nice to this kid as best as I possibly can, and debunk why his opinion is invalid. For one, everything is open to criticism. Okay, so. People are open to express their thoughts. Also, without criticism, there wouldn't be any room for improvement. That's why your opinion is invalid and illogical. In translation, you're wrong. I have the Wii U. I have it downstairs. It, it, it's one of my. It's. It's one of my favorite systems of all time. You wanna know why, you fricks? Cause it's freaking revolutionary with the freaking gamepad. I'm gonna say that the gamepad being revolutionary is utter bullcrap. And you wanna know why? Because the DS already did that. Nine years ago, mind you. And no, the GameCom doesn't count. Even if it was the first handheld to utilize the touchscreen, it was poorly designed and it didn't really have any good games on it. It's got good games on it, like Super Mario, which is my which is my, my favorite gaming franchise of all time. And you know what? I don't want to hear it. Stop criticizing the Wii U! Alright, just calm the fuck down. Hey, seriously, what the frick gifts? Okay, the Wii U already has, you know, good games on it, like, you know, the freaking new Super Mario Bros. U, even though it's not the most original Mario game, the most groundbreaking Mario game, it's still an amazing game nonetheless! Proclaims that the latest Mario game is amazing, they'll say analyze the reasons why. Makes perfect sense to me. So I don't want to hear you, fricks! And also, there's, you know, the freaking, you know, the freaking, um, Nintendo Land, the freaking Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed, which is multi-platformed, meaning that the game is also available in other game consoles. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, another good game for Wii U, and then we have you know freaking Mighty Switch Force Hyperdrive Edition, a good game, you know with. Amazing graphics, more levels, basically, you know, a better version of the original 3DS freaking game. And then we have, you know, the freaking, you know, the freaking Radiant Legends Challenges app, the Bitrip Runner 2. Holy frick, that's a good endless running game. And you know what? I don't want to hear it. Stop criticizing the Wii U. And even though those games. That sounds like a, re a weak lineup of essential games. They're all good games, so I don't want to hear it, you fricks! 
And guess what? The Wii U has some amazing games coming out for it in this year and next year. So the Wii U is getting games. So what? Just because the Wii U has more games coming out soon doesn't mean that the console shouldn't be open to criticism anyway. People are allowed to speak about various topics. Case in point, the Wii U and its library. Let me to name a few. All right, I'll name a few. Let's start it off, shall we? Okay, Super Mario U. You know, the next Mario game, the next 3D Mario game for Wii U. Um, Mario Kart U. Freaking, you know, freaking. Super Smash Bros. U, Yarn Yoshi, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, and then, um, the new upcoming 3D Zelda for Wii U, um, you know, the freaking, you know, the freaking Pikmin 3, Game & Wario, Sound of the Lost World, Radiant Legends, um, Mario Sonic the Sochi Olympics, New Super Luigi U, and, um, the unannounced um, Sonic title. That's 13 games to look forward to this year and next year. So I don't want to hear it, you fricks! Okay, you fricks, I don't want to freaking hear it! Would you kindly shut your noise hole? It just makes me so freaking irritated! And guess what? All you Microsoft and Sony fanboy, well guess what? PS4 and Xbox One look like the same exact thing as um, PS3 and Xbox 360, except with better graphics and better functionality, better social features, and all that freaking frick. I don't want to hear it! Ah, but, 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 listen, young grasshopper. The PlayStation 4 is gonna have a better Blu ray drive which means you won't have to deal with slow installation updates, which was something that the Wii PS3 had. As for the Xbox One, I really can't say much from the reveal other than my mixed reception on the console. It has some interesting functionalities, but there's some flaws that hold it back as well. I'll wait for E3 and see if they both hold up in some way. Wii U has all games! It's more revolutionary because of the gamepad, and that PS4 rips off of Wii U. That's right, you idiots, because it has the touchpad, except it doesn't have a screen on it. Well, guess what? How is that more revolutionary than the Wii U? Wait, wait. The PlayStation 4 ripping off the Wii U? <laughs> Isn't that cute? But it's wrong! The PlayStation 4 controller has a touchpad, granted, but the reality is that the PlayStation 4 doesn't have a gamepad, while the Wii U has a gamepad as one of the main controllers. So really, it's not a ripoff of anything, which I could commend both Sony and Microsoft for. And guess what? Even though the Wii U isn't, you know, quite up to the standards as um, you know, the past Nintendo systems, they freaking what? It's going to get there! People were saying the same freaking freak about the 3DS, and look at it now! 3DS is currently one of the best systems of all time, and at first people were saying that the 3DS was a failure. Well, guess what? Look at the 3DS now! Look how good it's doing! In fact, I got the 3DS right here! No thanks, you don't have to show me your 3DS. Also, I know what you're trying to say, but the fact of the matter is that the 3DS launch was executed badly due to the lack of games in its price tag. In fact, it was so bad that Nintendo had to cut its price tag 33% off. may not seem like a lot to you, but it did hurt Nintendo at the time, so Nintendo made it up by giving away 20 free games, which was 10 NES games and 10 Game Boy Advance games to early owners of the unit before the price drop. Also, it wasn't just the games that Wii U faced criticisms from, it was also the slow operating system, the lack of first party titles, I could go on. Heck, 
I'm willing to consider that you're ranting on those criticisms that has probably been irrelevant since last year. And guess what? The Wii U is going to get there. I don't care what people are saying now. It's eventually going to hit those standards. Just you wait! Now hold on. If you really don't care what people have to say, why did you waste your time producing this rant video? All you're doing is repeating yourself and counterpointing evidences to criticisms that holds no relevance now. It's like criticizing Germany just because the majority of them back in Hitler's rule were Nazis. That's irrelevant now because the country is a parliamentary democracy, meaning it's not under autocratic rule. And damn right it's irrelevant because their beers are freaking awesome. Thank <laughs> you.